Hi there welcome to Only Sports TV. This video, we will discuss Jackass a decade of comedy stunts, act of torture, laughter, and painful camaraderie. Please subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos to come. So let's start. By the late 1990s, aspiring actor and writer Johnny Knoxville had moved from Knoxville to Los Angeles and landed work in commercials in order to support his wife and infant daughter. Among his ideas was to produce an article that involved testing various self-defense equipment on himself as a homage to his hero, gonzo journalist Hunter S. Thompson. The magazines that contacted him refused to cover the story due to liability concerns, but in 1999, Knoxville was contacted by Big Brother, a skateboarding magazine for which Jeff Tremaine was an editor, and convinced Knoxville to do the stunt and film it. The stunt featured Knoxville testing out pepper spray, a stun gun, a taser, and a .38 caliber gun with a bulletproof vest, which was included in Big Brother video entitled Number 2, which also featured an appearance by future Jackass cast member Jason Wee Manicuna. Other contributors to Big Brother at this time were Rick Kosick, Chris Pontius, and Dave England, who went on to become a part of the Jackass crew. President of MTV, said, We just knew there were a bunch of knuckleheads out there who had a very high tolerance for stupidity and pain. Soon after the MTV deal, Tremaine approached Florida native Steve-O where he worked as a clown at a flea market, and had him film videos of his stunts for the television show, but none were cleared by MTV management. To round out the cast, England brought in his friend Aaron McGee-Hay, a fellow Oregon resident and extreme stunt participant. Preston Lacey would be the last of what is now considered the main cast to join, auditioning midway through the show's run by eating four bananas with the peels on. The show debuted on October 1, 2000. After the second episode had aired MTV gained its highest Sunday ratings in its history, drawing 2.4 million viewers among 12 to 34 year olds, its target demographic. Jackass is an American reality comedy television series created by Johnny Knoxville, Spike Jones, and Jeff Tremaine, directed by Tremaine, and produced by Dick House Productions. It originally aired for three seasons on MTV between October 1, 2000 and February 3, 2002. The show was controversial over its perceived indecency and encouragement of dangerous behavior. The Jackass franchise grew to include five feature films released by Paramount Pictures. Jackass the Movie, Year 2002 In this comedic documentary, Johnny Knoxville heads a crew of stuntmen, skateboarders, and all-around lunatics as they prank, embarrass and torture each other in the name of fun. The antics range from childlike the boys don panda suits for a romp through Tokyo to grotesque and life-threatening. The golf cart demolition derby turns downright dangerous. Live gators nearly chomp maniac Stevo. Filmmaker Spike Jones and Knoxville, in heavy makeup, test the public's patience for the elderly. The film, shot on a budget of just $5 million, went on to gross over $60 million in the United States alone, and finished in the number one spot at the box office during its debut weekend. Jackass 3D Year 2010 In late July 2010, Paramount and MTV screened the first footage from Jackass 3D at a special event during Comic-Con 2010 in its 3D format. The event allowed fans to meet the Jackass crew. Then in August 2010, the official trailer was aired on MTV. In an August 2009 interview with Knoxville for the Times Picayune, Knoxville, on the topic of Steve-O's recovery and rehabilitation, said, he's taking to sobriety like he took to drugs and alcohol. I'm very proud of him. I think we'll see him doing some stuff here really soon. As a matter of fact, I know we are. He later stated something's coming. We're pretty excited. Later, he added, I think it'll be a big year next year, but I don't want to talk about it yet. Jackass 3D was released in American movie theaters on October 15, 2010. On opening weekend, the movie made an estimated $50 million in 3,081 theaters, outperforming predictions it would earn $30 million and breaking the record for the most successful fall opening ever, which was previously held by Scary Movie 3. And their latest movie, titled Jackass Forever Year 2021. In a 2018 interview, Knoxville said that he is open to making a fourth Jackass film that may feature some new cast members, just to bring in some fresh blood into it. He said that he continues to write ideas for a Jackass film and that a ton have been set aside should the project receive the green light. In July 2019, cast member Chris Rock said that he had interviewed the Jackass crew on his Bathroom Break podcast and noted that everyone was still open to a fourth film should Knoxville, Tremaine, and Jones agree. On December 19, 
2019, Paramount confirmed that a fourth Jackass film is set for production and scheduled for release on March 5, 2021. In July 2020, due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, the film was rescheduled once again to September 3, 2021. In April 2021, Paramount in a major reshuffle, moved the release date again to October 22, 2021. A lot has changed in the Jackass universe. Original cast member Ryan Dunn was killed in a car accident, Johnny Knoxville went on to his own semi-successful acting career, and while several of the major players have teased the idea of a fourth film, it seemed unlikely. During a Reddit Q&A, Steve-O was asked about a potential fourth film, and replied, if Bam can stay sober and healthy. I suppose it's possible, but I think it's unlikely. I'm working really hard to make my own movie happen, wish me luck. And yet here we are, with Jackass Forever coming our way. Thank you for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos to come.